Many of you have told us something on this show has had a big impact in your life, especially when it comes to Medical Monday. So let's get started with hot topics. What do Michelle Obama, Kirstie Alley, and Beyonce have in common besides being celebrities? Well, they've all dealt with a medical issue that can seem so isolating, but it happens a lot. We're talking about that and other health issues. On our panel this morning, welcome maternal fetal medicine physician, Dr. Diana Rackusen, and nurse practitioner, Jim Patton. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so first, maternal fetal medicine physician. What does that mean? That means I am a, I take care of high risk pregnancies. So I'm a subspecialist, I, I'm an ob -GYN, and then I spent an extra three years learning how to take care of sick moms and sick babies. Okay, we've been hearing a lot lately about nurse practitioners. Oftentimes we just hear the you know, word nurse, but then now nurse practitioners, what exactly does that mean? Well, nurse practitioners, uh, it, it embodies uh, an advanced, um, advanced bit of training. Uh, and nurse practitioners uh, are an extension of the physicians in that uh, we have additional education in assessment and pharmacology and things like that. Yeah, that things you can do. Because I, I, I remember calling the office wanting to talk to the doctor, but the nurse uh, practitioner said, you know, I can handle that for you. Sure. Give me your symptoms and then send a prescription. Absolutely. All right. So basically that just makes it, I guess, more accessible, our needs. Because when we call the doctor's office, we really don't care who we're talking to, do we? <laughs> right. Just get my needs taken care of. There we go. All right. But, but with the nurse practitioner, we can basically, like you said, have the extension of the doctor. Okay. I'm going to go back to what I ask about what all of these celebrities had in common and what they have in common is that they've all had miscarriages and we were talking about it in our office and several of us were all like we all have miscarriages but you would think that it was something that was so rare you know everybody thinks it's something that's so rare because it's not talked about a lot but actually 20 percent of pregnancies end in a miscarriage so almost everybody if they ask people they know or friends and family members they're gonna find somebody else who's gone through the same thing we just don't talk about it as much yeah Beyonce said it's one of the reasons I didn't share I was pregnant the second time because you don't know what's going to happen uh, Kirstie Alley said I just didn't really get over it neither did my body and Michelle Obama says I felt like I failed because I didn't know how common miscarriages were so we do need to talk about it more I know Absolutely. with my doctor he did say to me out in the beginning said here's what can happen and I did have a miscarriage uh, but it made me feel better because you just realize um, that the human spirit and body is so strong. I mean, babies can go through a lot and still be born. If it's a miscarriage, there's a good reason. There's usually a good reason. And the most important thing that I say to any patient who has a miscarriage is this is not because of anything you did or didn't do. Because it feels like you're by yourself. It feels like you're isolated. And it feels like it's your fault when none of those things are true. Um, it's a miracle we have healthy babies. The yeah. fact that so many of us go through and have healthy pregnancies, that's the miracle. Yeah, yeah. All right. So with that said, we need to talk about that more. All right. Okay. When it comes to uh, getting pregnant, there was a 74-year-old woman who gave mm -hmm. birth to twins, right? And then we all know when Janet Jackson at 50 said, I'm having a baby. When she said that, a friend of mine who is like 53 said, oh my gosh, do I need to get back on birth control? No. No, you probably, you probably don't. You probably don't. But there is that kind of area, that gray area where women will be on birth control and that you stop, that you still could get pregnant even though you think you can't. Absolutely, absolutely. I, and I, speaking earlier, I, I often ask my patients, you know, is there, is there any chance that you might be pregnant? And uh, most of the women who are approaching menopause are like, oh, no, certainly not. And I stop them and-, and Not for lack of trying. Exactly, well, <laughs> and, and in, in the absence of, of, of a hysterectomy or, or something that has absolutely prevented uh, any chance of pregnancy, I always tell them there's always a chance that you might be pregnant, so we need to check things out. Yeah, especially when you're taking certain medications mm -hmm. or the certain procedures you have to go to, you need to know. Absolutely. All Absolutely. right. Thank you all very much.